Hello and welcome to the Discover History YouTube channel and last night we asked you to get a number of things together because today's Sunday, we're going to have a lazy Sunday, we're going to have a craft Sunday and uh, if you remember I asked you to get together some sellotape, very important for this, no glue today interestingly. I've also asked you to get some colouring pens or colouring pencils and I also ask you to get some scissors and if you're watching this and you're of a certain age make sure you get someone to help you with the cutting and then I said get some paper don't bother going to your printer uh, or anything else and getting the best quality paper all you need is scrap paper let's save the environment let's recycle and has anyone already worked out what those items are going to make have a little guess have a little think chat amongst yourself phone a friend do whatever you want but do you know what it's going to be well very simply i thought sunday a relaxing day we all need a big smile so i thought why don't we have a go at making a hat that was worn by a court jester a jester's hat now we're not going to get out the wool uh, the hand dyed wool and take out our needles and stitch together a fine quality hat to wear we're going to make it out of those items there the scissors the colouring pens the sellotape that sort of thing now just a little bit of history obviously it's a Sunday we're going to have a relaxing day we're not going to bombard you with historical facts however you know us too well we can't just make a jester's hat we need to talk about it at least so i've got a picture in this book of a court jester and i don't know if you can see it in the middle of that page there hopefully you can and what you will notice is the jester is wearing very very bright clothing now the early jesters had very unusual hats i'll show you the image again a very unusual hat and you might notice what looks like horns or ears and that's down to the fact the jester was generally a joker within a household usually a royal household but anyone of importance may have a jester and they were part of your entertainment system really um, you could have minstrels that played music the jester would tell jokes you may even have jugglers and so on some of them are all combined in one so you may have a jester that is also a minstrel and also someone uh, that does 101 duties as such really the entertainer of the household but some people say the reason why the hat started life with horns or ears is down to the fact that people used to say one of the and I hate using the word because no animals are but they often say the dumbest animal alike is probably an ass basically a type of donkey a mule and uh, therefore when a jester is entertaining when he's acting the fool uh, they would wear a hood or a hat that makes it look like a donkey in other words uh, a, an ass with huge ears pointing up and that's one of the reasons why jester's hats have evolved to what they look like even later in history where you have these long tails on them often with bows on them and the reason for that is so they can shake their head and make everyone laugh and walk around and dance and you would hear them coming basically and um, they often also carry a fake scepter as well a bit like what a monarch would carry and it was usually a carved head wearing the same clothes as the jester themselves so we're going to make a jester's hat we're not going to be like i said making a real one we're not going to make one that looks as if they have ears we're going to be making a later jester's hat which has the long pointy bits with bowels on the end however we're using paper coloring pens sellotape that's pretty much it really so what do we need to do first of all you need to take your paper and cut uh, some strips out of it you are going to need four strips for the headdress the top bit and you will need two strips to make the headband so it's four five six you need six strips so I've taken my piece of paper and I'm going to carefully remember to get someone to help you if you're not very good at cutting out cut four 
strips, they're going to be the headdress, and then two for the band. Once you've done that, take your colouring pens or colouring pencils and colour them in. What I usually do is for the band that's going around your forehead, keep it one colour. That's what I always think and it makes it easier that way. And then for the bits that are coming off, what would be the pointy parts of the jester's hat, the fool's hat, I usually colour those in different colours just to make it nice and colourful. So you should now have two strips for the band and four for the bits coming off. And then all we need to do is create the hat. So what we take is one of the band strips and using some sellotape, as I'm going to do here, you need to stick the band or start creating the band. So you should have something that looks quite long. You then need to make sure it fits your head. So place it around your head. There we go. And then once again, sellotape it to keep everything in place. You may notice on the inside, I've got writing. And that's because this is an old email and it's no longer used. It's an old booking, for example. Instead of throwing it in the recycling, I am going to make something out of it. Let's help the environment. So you should now have something that looks like that. In other words, a band of one complete colour. That's the first part of your jester's hat. Now what you need to do is attach the pointy bits. And all you need is that, is remember the strips that you coloured in different colours, four of them. You want to evenly space them around the outside of your hat. Now, a tip. When you sellotape it, sellotape it on the inside of the band, the bit that goes against your head. So I've attached the red one just to there and go for the opposite side. So where I've put that one in, go directly across and that's where I'm going to place the next one. Once again, making sure that you stick it on the inside of the hat, but keep it so the colours go on the outside. I'll show you what I mean with that one because that's not the clearest way of describing it. So you should end up like that. So the colours are actually on the outside, but they're stuck on the inside. I hope that makes sense for you. So we're going to continue that until all these bands are in place. And obviously it's not going to be a perfect example of a jester's hat, but it's the closest we're going to have when we're just using scraps of old paper. So I'm just attaching the last of the coloured strips and I'll show you what it now looks like. There we go, what do you think of that? So that is part of your jester's hat. So I just model it so you can see how it should look when you put it on. It looks as if you've got an octopus up on your head. If you find the middle band gets in the way, then all you need to do is turn it at an angle like that. It looks silly, but at the end of the day, when you're the fool or when you're the jester, you have to look funny. It's one of the reasons why the hats were like they are. Now, we need to put some finishing touches to our hat. So what you then need to do is take another bit of scrap paper and colour it in, for example, in yellow. The reason why I've chosen yellow is because we're going to turn these into little barrels. Then what you need to do is cut out four little circles. And if you want to, take a pen and mark in the center a little dot and a line coming from it, because that therefore looks like a little bell. And then all we do is take some more salad tape and we're going to stick our little bells onto each of those four corners that are hanging down. So there we have our first little bat, just to there. So all I'm going to do is take another one, take another little bit of sellotape, sellotape it on. Now, whilst I'm doing this, what I need you to do is maybe find some clothing of yours that is brightly coloured. Try and find some clothes that's brightly coloured and does not match which is easy for me because I very rarely wear clothes that are matching. So what you might want to think about is maybe wearing a red top with some yellow trousers. 
something mad and outrageous basically because you want to be spotted in a crowd and that's what jesters would do and hopefully you could get dressed in those clothes and pop your hat on that looks like this now hopefully you would look a bit silly and a bit more like a jester and then all you need to do is stand around and tell some amusing jokes now to help this what i would like you to do is come up with some jokes the funnier the better and i want you to post them on facebook instagram or twitter or even on here the funnier jokes the better Anyway, on that note, have a relaxing Sunday, enjoy the rest, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.